right, I think the setup is good. Should I sit on your lap? Terrible switch. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video today. My name is Christopher Lau. This is my beautiful fiance Rachel and this is gonna be a different video today. So something insane just happened. Yeah, just a few hours ago. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so this again is a little different style of video. I'm gonna make some travel videos, some quarantine videos or self-isolation what we're doing today with social distancing. But someone just broke into our house, tried to break into our house day 11 of self-isolation. Has this ever happened here? No, um, I have moved into this house since I was in the first year of university, so that's like 12 years ago, and no such thing has ever happened. Ever. Ever. <laughs> it was frightening. So we have a fence like surrounding our house and like an electric door opener so the cars can come in and come out, and there's a certain part of the gate where the lady just jumped over the entire gate now we also have two security dogs that are like outdoorsy type security dogs, a black one and a white one. The black one was scary. <laughs> it didn't bark at all, he was hiding. He was hiding, poor thing. And the white one was kind of barking, trying to get the late crazy lady to go away. She was under the influence of some type I of alcohol or something, drugs. I, I think it's amphetamine, honestly. Because yeah. I, I don't think that she, she comes from a good area and our fence was actually around 2.5 meters above the ground so it took some crazy stuff to to jump off that length and before the fence there is a big tree and bushes so she shouldn't be able to do that that's why no such thing has ever happened and now it's happening and the first thing she did was lying in our pond. So we have a pond outside. She removed the gate and just started floating in the pond. She also, we have actual footage of this happening. So Rachel, we live with her mom, her dad, and her auntie and meaty. Um, Rachel's dad caught the lady grabbing like shoes and stuff on the side of the house and banging Bang on our door. front door. So I have raw footage of this. It was insane. Luckily we locked the front door, otherwise yeah. she would have gotten in and that would have been a mess if she got into our house. Rachel and I were up still, still kind of sleeping, pretty much asleep. I Rachel's was sleeping aunt, like a pig. <laughs> Rachel's aunt was asleep upstairs, so we didn't really hear anything, but her mom and dad, her dad at least was downstairs, saw it, started shouting at the ladies, the dogs, well at least one dog started barking. Got the raw footage, the lady went towards the back of the house too and tried to just go into random areas of the house. She was running around basically. It was insane. She, she was, was running, running around, around, floating in our pond. Apparently she was doing it on the entire block, so jumping into random people's houses. And our house was the last one because after she was just like prancing around the street and they ended up tying her up. Yeah, like <laughs> as in they, like we have um, <laughs> Like a foundation where where they sort of oversee our alley, oh, really? say, and and they they said that before she came into our house, she was sleeping in a lotus pond somewhere this down the street. This sounds beautiful. This sounds pretty though. You're but sleeping the, in a lotus pond. The lotus pond was was like Someone this else. big. <laughs> So she was not floating or anything, oh she was just God. sitting down her bum there, okay? So <laughs> she might try to find a bigger pond, so she found our pond and started oh God. floating comfortably and my fish, my poor fish were so scared. Oh my God, it's so wild. But overall, if I would have saw it, if I would have woken up, I probably would have <laughs> grabbed a tennis racket. Um, I, I probably would have went crazy. I have a couple tennis rackets here. There's also a little hammer back behind me. Self-defense, like she was drugged based on the coronavirus going on, um, supposedly it's spreading to a lot of the poorer areas, especially in big cities like Bangkok. She was drugged, she was kind of like a bum it looked like, who knows if she has coronavirus, I'm not going to risk detaining her, grabbing her, touching her, wrestling her. No. I'm going to knock her out with a tennis racket or a hammer, that's just me, I, I don't want to risk my health, my safety, anything like that. I would knock her out with a tennis racket. Um. Yeah, but the thing is, in the United States, if someone trespass your property, you're allowed to bear arms, right? Right. right. But in Thailand, it, it, it's illegal to, to suddenly hurt a person if the person doesn't show intention of hurting you or harming you. So it can't be called self-defense. Therefore, we can't really go and suddenly whack her. No? I would have still done it. If she would have went into the house with meaty, in the house, media sleep. He's actually somewhere located in the house, we're not gonna say, but if she would have went into the house, basically sacrificing security and safety of my family, 
we're gonna knock her out. So yeah. if you guys try to break in, I'm gonna knock your. I've got a big forehead. <laughs> anyway, we're in self isolation, social distancing mode. This is like day 11. Rachel pretty much has been working. We haven't had any instances like this ever, but she's pretty much been working, laying low. We've been baking, doing a lot of things around the house. To update you guys, I'm also gonna make a video what to do or what we're doing during social, social distancing. I can't even talk right now. Uh, I'll make that video later on. I'm also gonna make some travel videos, some of my favorite spots, maybe some travel guides. Also, over the next couple weeks, but be safe, everyone. Stay home like what we're doing. This was like a random raw, we basically got broken into just an hour ago type video that I wanted to tell you guys. Comment down below if this has ever happened to you guys, or comment down below also on some ideas how you guys are social distancing and staying home. Um, anything to add? Well, actually, I really enjoy like staying home with my family. It's been incredible. Have the to be opportunity to actually <laughs> work from home, make sure my man and my little one eats properly. We've been eating a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we eat too much. By day 14 or whatever, I'm gonna be growing like triple my size. I feel like. And it's good that everyone's staying home. It's good that our company let her stay home. It's definitely something that needs to happen. Everyone needs to stay home as much as possible. So stay home, guys. Be as safe as you can. Comment down below on some of the types of videos that you guys wanna see. And welcome again to my channel if you guys are brand new. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you guys enjoy seeing raw travel videos or informational travel videos, unfortunately this one was just so random. And make sure you guys hit the notification bell, comment down below, smash the like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe everyone. And if you see a crazy zombie lady, knock her out. Bye. <laughs> See you guys.